Have you ever heard any customer care executive pointing out any of your mistakes? Never. You never heard because we are the communicator. We are learning spoken English to communicate, not to show off. Hello and welcome friends. Wish you all are doing well and you are watching me on Knowledge Versatile. Have you ever heard any customer care executive pointing out any of your mistakes? Never. You never heard and you're sure you must have talked to the customer care executives for several times. They never, they never point out any of your mistakes when you speak in English. On the other hand, don't they understand that you are making mistakes while speaking in English? Yes, they understand. They understand that while you are speaking in English, you are making some mistakes. There are mistakes in your speech, but it's not their duty. It's not their duty. They never focus on your mistakes. They focus on the content what you wish to say, what the issue you are going to speak about, what the issue you are talking to. Their main motto is to understand you. Their main motto is to understand your problem and to solve them, not the language. That's why you must remember one thing. Language is only a medium of communication, of interaction, of expressing our thoughts and understand others. It doesn't mean that while we speak in English, we will surely make mistakes. No, it's not like that. We may be new learners and we may be very good speaker. If we are learners, we may commit some mistakes. But it's not your duty to point out others' mistakes. It's not your duty. If he or she is your student, then point out. Otherwise, never point out others' mistakes. This language is for communication. You must understand that whether the communication is healthy or not. If it's a healthy communication, healthy interaction, then continue it. Then continue it. Express your thoughts and feelings through this language. And on the other hand, listen to others carefully. You are learning communication skill. The best part of communication skill is to listen carefully. Listen carefully observing others carefully, then you will be a good communicator. On the basis of your observation, on the basis of your understanding, you can communicate better. You can understand others very well. As a result, you can do accordingly. Whether you have to speak politely, whether you have to speak differently, again, you have to understand whether the listener understanding you or not whether your pronunciation understandable or not. You should take care of all these. Just remove one point, pointing out others' mistakes. Never point out others' mistakes and never show off yourself. Never show off yourself that I know better than you. I know better than you. And never try to speak English first. Remember it. Never try to speak English first. Speaking first shows that you are nervous. Speaking first shows that you are nervous. You are in a hurry. There is no need to speak first. There is no need to speak first. Why will you speak first? You are getting two points. First one is never try to find out others mistakes. And another is never try to speak first. Whenever you attempt to speak first, it shows that you are nervous. And if you try to speak first, your ability of thinking will be reduced. You cannot construct your sentences very well. And your spoken words may not be understandable to the listeners. So, to make yourself understandable, just maintain the pace. Maintain the pace doesn't mean that you have to speak first. If you speak first, most of the listeners won't understand you. So, your main motto to make them understand will not be fulfilled. If your listeners don't understand what you are saying, what's the result of your speaking? There is no result. Speak in such a way so that your listeners can understand. When your listeners will understand you, 
they will pay attention what you are saying. And on the other hand, if your listeners don't understand what you are saying, very soon they will lose interest. They won't pay attention what you are saying. They won't get interest in your speech. So here comes another point that is observation. Observe carefully, observe critically while others are speaking. While others are speaking, take lessons from their speeches. What words they are speaking, what sentences they are speaking, how they are expressing their thoughts. Do you like their thoughts? Do you like their way of expressions? Do you like the way they are expressing themselves? If you like, then adopt it. Then adopt it and use those sentences, those words, whenever you need to speak them. This way, through observation, you can enrich yourself and the skill of spoken English will be good to you. Then your skill of spoken English will be enriched. You will be a good communicator. And whenever you will speak, people will listen to you carefully. They will pay attention whatever you are saying. Another thing, never pass any negative comment. If you do not like anything, keep quiet, but don't make any negative comment. Whoever, whoever is there in front of you speaking in English, he or she may not be as good as you are, but don't pass any negative comment. Don't try to find out mistakes from their speeches. Don't do this. So these are the points you should take care while you will be talking to others. Your motto is to be a good communicator. Your motto is to, is to express your thoughts and receive other thoughts through English. Language should not be a barrier. Your language, your language, your knowledge of English, your skill of spoken English should be so good and so smooth like butter. Everybody will understand it and you will understand everybody. So this should be the motto of your spoken English because we are the communicator. We are learning spoken English to communicate, not to show off, not to show off that I know better than you. I, I can speak in English, so I am better than you. Nothing like that. Yes, it's a skill. It's a tough skill. We should acquire it. To acquire it, we need great efforts. Yes, we admit it. After all, it's a language and the main object of any language is to communicate. Be a good communicator and enjoy listening and speaking. Without extending my words any further, I am concluding here. Love you all. Bye.